It is not about the tragedy of the bus accident. It is more about a young 17 year old girl trying to figure out how to connect with people. Hey everybody, welcome back to First Impressions. My name is Seth Pomeroy. I'm a filmmaker and an editor. I just watched Margaret, the extended cut. This is a film by Kenneth Lonergan, who is brilliant and makes such cool human driven dramas. This is a great example of what happens when a movie is badly marketed. I think the poster and then the log line alone is like a girl witnesses a bus accident and forever her life has changed while she grapples with should she have done something should she have shared more information with the police that is definitely the driving engine of what this film was about but it is not about the tragedy of the bus accident it is more about a young 17 year old girl trying to figure out how to connect with people most importantly connect with her mother and we float in and out of this story maybe more so in the extended cut from what i've read but we float out around her story and around new york city i mean this is a movie about a a woman who accidentally gets struck by a bus, a woman that this girl, our main character, Lisa, does not know. This is such an interesting thing then to use the story as a way to talk about these anonymous people that you pass by every single day in a big city. Well, this movie puts the lens on everybody, not just our main character. And so there is these beautiful moments where the sound mix, uh, bleeds in all these different conversations around them where these two old ladies are having an argument at a table at a coffee shop while she tells a guy she's not that interested in him. We see these incredible skylines of New York City. Her mother is the second lead of the film and her mother is a single person, a single mother who's newly dating someone who she doesn't share that much with, but trying to get to know him and see if there's love there. She's also in a big play that's opening. And so that story is paired with Lisa's experience with just trying to figure out what is her life going to be about? What is her life about? Ultimately, the bus story comes back in and how they're going to solve her sort of like question marks with what she should have done or shouldn't have done. But that is not what this movie is about. This movie is about human interaction, human behavior, connection, love, understanding, indifference, everything under the sun. And it's got an incredible cast. Elaine May's daughter, who is most famous for being in Heartbreak Kid, is incredible in this. Not to mention Matt Damon and Matthew Broderick in small roles as teachers. Matthew Broderick in particular is so fucking funny in this movie. And that's the thing. This movie is very, very funny. You wouldn't think so from the poster, but it is a very, very funny movie in a real human way. So I really, really strongly encourage you guys seeking out this movie to despite its length and the dark qualities of the storytelling. Thanks so much for watching First Impressions, guys. Uh, please watch some of my other videos, and I'll be back soon.